Hello YouTube, uh, this is Joey again, and I got another Vlogtober video. I'm going to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart, and a southern classic, Sargon Molasses. Uh, this is, uh, no joke, Sargon Molasses. Uh, something that's very um, unique to this part of the country, the southeast, uh, southeast United States, for those of you uh, viewing from outside the United States. And uh, that typically includes uh, the states of Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, uh, Mississippi, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, Virginia. Some people include Virginia. Some people include um, Kentucky. Some people include Texas. But... Uh, uh, usually it's the if you're talking about the deep south it's kind of like Tennessee and the states below it so um, and oh in Arkansas uh, <laughs> which is uh, another story altogether anyway sargum molasses which is actually not molasses technically technically it's a syrup and not a molasses but uh, we call it molasses for whatever reason um, and that's a very important distinction too uh, now that I think about it because if you go to the grocery store and buy uh, molasses that is a different product and it tastes nothing like sorghum so uh, don't go to the grocery store and buy molasses because I did that uh, when I got out of my you know high school age and I got out on my own and I bought my first jar of mol molasses I bought the real deal and it's not this so um, anyway like I said it's a product pretty unique to the uh, southeast United States and I believe uh, of all places India uh, also makes sargum syrups so uh, sargum is just a um, it's, a, it's actually a type of grass and uh, it grows uh, and kind of the southeastern climate and uh, it, it'll also grow in the in the Midwest um, I did a little bit of investigation on the internet about sargum and they uh, now grow it in the Great Plains and I'm looking at Wikipedia right now they grow it in the Great Plains and um, Texas Texas can Kansas and Nebraska are the leading producers so uh, I'm not sure how much that they actually eat the sargum uh, molasses and I don't know what else you would use sargum for other than to make molasses um, as far as uh, human consumable uh, foods uh, I don't know of anything else that they make out of sargum they make um, uh, they make like cattle feed out of it and they make uh, uh, biofuel out of it like ethanol but they, uh, they don't, uh, as far as I know, it's the plant itself is not edible in any uh, meaningful way. So, um, yeah, sargum molasses. Um, this right here comes from uh, the Russell Creek Sargum Mill, uh, Lobelville, Tennessee. I bought this at a, there's a truck stop when you get off uh, the interstate uh, to go to m where my parents live. There's a big truck stop there, and they sell kind of stuff like this um, on a little shelf right as you walk in the door. So I stopped in and picked me up a jar. Uh, it's pretty good. It's it's got the consistency of honey. Uh, it's it's got a a very dark color. It's like a honey like color, but it's very dark color. And you can see it there, and you can see that it moves very very slowly <laughs> it's very sticky I don't know that I could actually get this jar open I would have to run some hot water on it um, and it's got a very distinctive flavor to uh, it's sweet it's sweet like honey or any other syrup uh, that you can think of uh, but it's got a, a kind of a, a tang to it a little um, hard to explain tang that uh, is very unique to the sargon product. Um, I know that uh, when I was a kid we would have it, uh, and it even mentioned this on the Wikipedia page, which all you got to do is look up sweet sargon, S-O-U, or S-O-R 
G H U M, sweet sargum. And um, it actually mentions it on the page that uh, sargum and hot, hot biscuits. Uh, and that's American biscuits, not British biscuits. Uh, it's good, and it is indeed good. And that's what most people uh, in the South eat it with, is just like, make some biscuits, put some sargum on it. Uh, I know in my family we would take a little butter and, and uh, mix it up in the um, in the molasses there. You don't melt it or anything. You just kind of it, it helps if it's softened butter. So you might stick it in the microwave for like five seconds or something like that. And then, but you just chuck it in there and you uh, kind of just mash it up in there and create kind of a little emulsion and of butter and sorghum and it's very good very good on biscuits so uh, I just thought that uh, I'd put a video out there talking about sorghum and the wonderfulness of it <laughs> because it, it's a product that like I said it's a product that's uh, unique to this area of the country the southeast and I'm not sure that a lot of people really know uh, what sorghum is what the purpose of it is what it tastes like all that kind of stuff so if you're ever traveling in the southeast uh, kind of look around you know stop at some mom-and-pop shops uh, you can even buy it in grocery stores um, especially if you stop at kind of a you know small town at a local grocery store or something like that they'll have typically have products like this uh, not so much the big chain stores but um, definitely if you're traveling in the south you know pick up a small jar test it out see if you like it uh, I think it's pretty good and uh, like I said it's good good on biscuits so if you like biscuits this is the staff right here anyway uh, that's all I have for this edition and uh, so peace out and I'll talk to you later bye